hello everyone so i want to do this 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 series of, of video to talk about uh my touring setup on this bicycle uh which i consider to be the best uh mullet setup uh in terms of like of, of working and uh, to avoid a lot of maintenance on the bike uh and yeah so I will start, uh, this will be a, a three-part video, I'll talk about like three things that I did on this bike, this is a Malvern Star OPS2, it's an Australian bike, it's a chromoly frame and uh, it originally came with a Shimano 105 uh, compact setup, uh, it was a 5034 on the chain ring and a 1132 on the cassette and the first thing i want to say uh, this is, should be the first part of the video the first thing i want to i want to address here is is this thing so i use this bike for for bike touring and uh, i was traveling in nepal so as you can imagine like i rode through very high mountains uh, and very steep hills and uh, I was basically eating brake pads for lunch. Yeah. Uh, the brake pads wouldn't last. And then I swapped them, I put like uh, metallic brake pads, and then I started eating the disc rotors. So this is one thing that I, that I thought about doing, which is putting a 180 millimeter rotor on a road setup. Uh, and originally I thought that considering these adapters, these as you can see, these are adapters for the, the rear wheel, the rear brake. Uh, this goes from 140 to 160 millimeters. And I thought that like for each of these adapter, I could go 20 millimeters more on the diameter of the disc. Because the diameter diameter is a, is a linear measure, right? It's not uh, like a, I don't know. I don't even know how to say, but it's not the distance of of the disc. It's the the linear distance. So for for each one of these, I thought that that would uh, allow me to put a 20 millimeter disc bigger. And what I found uh, that uh, this isn't necessarily true. Let me just grab. this isn't necessarily true. And I'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, uh, so, first thing, first thing uh, I want to mention is that, as you can see, I put the original adapter on the position 140. Why? Why did I do that? Why? Why I didn't use? Why I didn't use it on the 160 millimeter, which is just on the opposite? It's, which I would just like had to put it the opposite way, because if I put this thing here. On the 160 position, this thing was inter would interfere with, uh, with the screw. And as some of you may know, uh, Big Torque has a, an adapter for that. He does he does it like a, and he does it properly, but it's quite expensive. Uh, well, it's expensive for me. Uh, this is more of a of a, a budget solution, somewhat of a budget solution. It's not like very cheap, but it's a budget solution. Uh, so this is this is what I thought, right? Putting two rear uh, adapter would allow me to use a 180 millimeter rotor, but that it didn't work properly uh, right away. Uh, first thing, uh, as you can see here, I did some filing here, but this is not this filing is not this is not an structural part. As you can see, this part here on this other it's not support it's like it doesn't has any support so that didn't change any structure that's not like a too big of a liability but i also had to do some filing on this middle uh, adapter i had to file it on the back here because when i put them when i put the two of them the the caliper went too outside and uh, like i'm not an engineer i i am i don't i can't i cannot work with with a card or anything like that so I, I didn't know i don't know why that happened uh based on my line of thought that i said before but but 
uh, it didn't work. It didn't work. It was way too outside of the disc. The, road, the caliper was uh, clamping uh, outside of the disc, not uh, on the disc itself. <sighs> and then I, I had to file this middle one here on the bottom. I probably took like one millimeter off of it. And uh, well, if you have uh, a, a sand belt, a sanding belt, I don't, I'm not sure if that's the name, that would be easy. But I, I filed it with my hand. With the, and file that I can so <laughs> I fired it with this right yeah this is traditional way this is an old one uh, but it worked after all like I I, I fired it like uh, properly here and it worked uh, although you can you may think that this is too outside but the clamping load is going all the way to the top here there's no problem and uh, it looks like this because it's a new pad and a new pad it's the clamping the clamping area is more to the outside but when you go using it it goes uh going more more down here so the clamping now it's in the proper place uh, so yeah that's that's it for the first video uh this is something that uh, like i said for, for bike touring or even for gravel uh, Big Torque says that uh, uh, 180 millimeter is even good for, for road cycling if you are heavy. Uh, my setup, for example, I had, I am, I weigh 70 kilos. This bike with a, with a hex would weigh 15 and I was carrying 35 kilos on the back. So it's 100, as it's like 120 kilos for the uh, 160 millimeters rotor that the original thing was. And like I said, I was eating pads, and afterwards I was eating the uh, uh, rotors also. So this thing should help a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to put a 200 and, and, and three millimeters here, because it's already pretty close to the fork. Uh, it's not meant for that, so, so far so good. And, I, and I've ridden a lot with this setup, and uh, I mean, it, it works pretty good yeah so that's it for the first video i will i will continue later thanks for watching and so one thing i forgot to mention is that uh, in order to reach this boat this top boat here uh, you could use uh, one of those allen keys that have a, a ball at the end uh, although they they would fit here at an angle but they're not meant for putting a lot of torque uh, so what I did was I cut this Allen key, okay? So I cut the the length of it, and it fits here properly, as you can see. So so I have so I had to do like some some hack here on this uh, on this Allen key to make it to make it work. This is just one thing that I forgot to mention in the first video. Thank you.